previously on Riches to Rags. One business which is sure to always make money is a nightclub. I mean, it's not like there will ever be a worldwide pandemic where everything shuts down for six months or anything like that. Tony! Your friend's here! Piss off, Laszlo! I did, however, get worried when he told me about his plans for his human trafficking idea. We need kids! Young people! Now, seeing as a dickhead was such a dickhead, I started to wonder why Tony would still keep him around. Tony, can we hug? If you thought the dickhead was bad, just wait until you meet the twat. Amigo! <laughs> Despite just meeting, Dave wasted no time trying to put his face into my crotch. One love. Nice bag. Now we just needed a DJ, so me and the twats went off to collect him from the airport. And I was stunned to find out that our new DJ was none other than former WWF superstar Hacksaw Jim Duggan. <laughs> So after realising all of the nightclub's management were men who like to hug each other and put their faces into crotches, it suddenly dawned on me that this was not your ordinary nightclub, but in fact a massive gay nightclub. It's raining Hallelujah. So I took myself shopping and got some minor restyling. Now with my great new look and my awesome new pink car, I then attempted to promote the club by befriending some of the local LGBTQ and other alphabet people of San Andreas. There's something deeply noble about growing your own vegetables. But it didn't quite go to plan as it took offence when I said that men can't have periods. And my promotion really paid off, as it was absolutely heaving in there with loads of raging queens. And we're back. And for some reason, Lester wanted me to pay him $25,000 for every casino heist I start, despite him getting a cut from the final take anyway. Bring out your phone and search for a Wi Fi signal we can piggyback on. So off I went to locate the signal again. Just like before, the signal was coming from the women's toilets. I did feel a lot more comfortable being in there as I'm now trying to pass myself off as a gay dude and women love gay men. And yes, they were still looking at logos on their phones and staring at themselves in the mirror. Ah, what's that look like? The green stuff, huh? I had heard a rumour that there were going to be diamonds in the vault at some point. So not wanting green stuff, which is clearly white, I rang Lester to tell him to cancel the whole thing. How can I be of service? So, all that prep work for nothing? So I went back to the planning board to try again. When I spent another 25k in a setup, I magically got diamonds in the vault. I definitely didn't know this was possible, or made a video about how to change the vault contents to diamonds, or left a link in the description. After choosing my approach and heist crew, I called on my new boyfriend, Shy Durex, to help me out with the preps. Remember this guy? Hi, hi. Nice to meet you too. Kind of casino, okay? You better be serious about this shit. Cause I can get you wherever you need to be to ride this place. No one says no to your ancestor. For this prep, I had to steal a car and then drive it around while the annoying rapper dude kept ringing me all the bloody time telling me to take it somewhere else. You got the car yet? Just get it away from the hotel. Like, get rid of it. But like, I don't know, just what? drive it into some water. And take I think it. they listen. Fuck! Look, you hear that? Heavyweight is bad. No, we got to I think they fucking shot for the We burn it. Burn it. No, there we go. In the city. Enjoy the car before they find so many times. So after 20 minutes of driving around the city, we eventually had to drop the car off at the altruist camp. Can I kick it? Yes, you can. So we kick, push, kick, push, kick, push, kick, push, coast. Not wanting to stick around to be beaten to death, and with the truck locked, I chose the quickest way out. Get over here and delete those bitches. We then had to destroy four cameras for Young, and seeing as I had my trusty scramjet, we did it in style. out 
there. I'm booked on a kid show tomorrow. That's gonna be awkward as shit. You taking care of it? Okay. Wow. I guess I do owe you one. <sighs> For our next prep, we had to steal some weapons from an armored truck with guards in it. Shai Jurex found the truck, so I thought I'd give him a booster by scramjet. Luckily, Jurex was on hand to pick me up and give us a lift home. For the getaway vehicles, I thought I'd mix it up a bit and try some different ones, so I opted for the Vauxhall Corsas, I mean the Asbos. Okay, let's get your getaway vehicles. For this, we had to sneak into a police compound and relieve them from their clutches. You might need to move some of the other cars out of the way first. But unlike last time, the guards were nowhere near as deaf as before. I don't mean to be a downer, but you just made things ten times harder for yourself. And then at the worst possible time, I'd realise I'd run out of ammo on my favourite weapon. And it didn't take me long before I was reminded why I had never chosen these cars before. Now bring them in! We have a nice big bay for it. Now out of the vehicle and with a weapon that loads more than it fires, things soon turn to shit. The game then decided to troll me even more by spawning me even further and further away. But at least I did eventually get it delivered. You remember I directed your attention to some keypads when you were looking around the casino? Yeah, their tech is some of the best in the business, government level. Which means we need to go all the way up the chain to the server farm in the noose headquarters. I thought Shai Jurich would be smart enough to use his own vehicle to drive us around in. But he's not, as I later found out that he stole this bike off the street. With myself and his fat ass on it, it took us forever to get around. It didn't help that he's the worst driver since Pesca. I thought the best way to get to the server farm was to drive the opposite way. What the fuck are you doing? Now I just had to collect the case with my elbow and trust Durex to get us back to the arcade safely. Lose the G man and head back to the arcade. The plan was for Jurex to protect me with the buzzard while I went into the prison to collect the key cards. Shit! You need to start listening to Uncle Lester! Show's over Because I was concentrating on not dying, lining up the vehicle for a quick escape, and because I'm a total dumbass, I didn't even recognise that the guard with the key cards had fallen off the tower, even though I'd run him over. It wasn't until I'd reached the top that I'd realised he must be at the bottom, and by this time the place was swarming with noose. Now what you are about to see is one of the greatest escapes in the history of GTA Online.
then went from bad to worse. Seeing as I was the one with the key cards, I left Jurex for dead and got the hell out of there. Seeing that my car was on fire, I knew I had to bail before it was too late. Okay, it was nearly the greatest escape in the history of GTA Online. I still had to lose the cops, so I camped out in the sewers, only to learn that these cops can now shoot through the roof. Plan C was to drive around until I'd lost them again. So back to the zoo as it was. Twenty minutes later. Worn out and needing a break, I sat down to see if there's anything good on YouTube this week. Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? Today guys, what we're gonna do- After all that, I realised that being murdered time and time again really wasn't so bad after all. Oh god, there's been a horrible accident. It's the Diamond Valley, fifth one they've lost this week. Shai Jurek showed off his driving ability once more when he was in charge of making sure we got the hearse to the morgue. To be honest, with driving like that, we were going to end up at the morgue one way or another. Well, he wasn't going to use it. So, what was it? Oh yeah, we were going after the guard patrol routes. Being such a master at stealth, this next prep would be a breeze. You could have done this clean. Now you're going to have to get dirty. Seeing as it didn't quite go to plan, I was glad I had backup from Shy Durex in the buzzard, who surely wouldn't be dumb enough to start blowing everything up. That looks like the right car. See what you can find in the trunk. Take a close-up of the roster with your camera, send it over, and get yourself out of there. After all that death and drama, we were finally ready to take on the casino. It's not what you know, it's who you know, people. Your new best friend, yeah, he's a great guy to know if you want to get into the back room of a casino. When we arrived, the secretary, unlike all the men at my gay nightclub, let us know that she wasn't such a big fan of bum fun. I can let them into the office, but not into the back. I promise you there is nothing interesting back there. But young Ancestor was quick to point out what he likes doing. Fucking asshole! He then quickly realized that he'd probably confess too much. She knows, man! She fucking knows! I'm too famous for this shit, bro! You know what they do to me in jail? Now paranoid that the tabloids would find out, young then threatened Bruce. You setting us up for what? I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. Oh, oh shit! My leg! I shot myself. Yeah. Like an idiot. Despite confessing his homosexuality, young just wasn't into buff white dudes. Don't touch me! Uh Get the fucking thing off the fucking tape and get out of here! So after we collected the fucking thing off the fucking tape, we went off to sell ourselves some diamonds. 
even though we were on a very important job, Shirley Jurix does get very horny and even tried it on at the bottom of the stairs. Relaxing? For a moment, I didn't think you were going to get back there. You're not supposed to be there. If you blow your cover, you'll need to start fighting. Lester says, You're not supposed to be there. But nobody cared, so we just kept going. Keep going. We made it here. Get out your equipment and get into the vault. Throw your diamonds in the sky if you feel the vibe. Ah! We cleaned them out! Okay, let's see if we can make the way out as smooth as the way in. Keep moving and keep quiet. You have a problem with me, fucker? Hey! Yeah! Civilians have been evacuated. The driver has the getaway car in position. I've pinged you the GPS. Get to the buyer. Don't bring the cops. And we're home free. Making it to your ride. We escaped with the diamonds clean, and all that was left was for Juritz to show that his landing skills are just as good as his driving skills. Another successful heist and another $2 million. All that was left for the day was to see if I could win this week's podium vehicle. Ah, uh, not this time. So join us next time when I become a biker so I can sell drugs and stare at nice boobs and wrinkly old men. In the next episode of Riches to Rags. <laughs>